Picture the grandest mansion imaginable in the United States, a place where luxury knows no bounds. Envision a sprawling spa offering the most lavish treatments, a movie theater that rivals any cinema in Hollywood, a bowling alley for those evenings of leisure, a juice bar to invigorate the senses, perhaps even a moat adding an air of timeless majesty, or a full-fledged nightclub that never sleeps. Now, imagine all of these extravagant elements harmoniously blended into one residence, and you'll find yourself in Bel Air, home to the most expensive mansion in all of America. In my perspective, it warrants being christened number one due to the extraordinary amenities it boasts. But let me assure you, these features are but the tip of the iceberg when exploring this opulent estate nestled within the city of angels. Having roamed through opulent mansions and majestic palaces worldwide, I can boldly declare that nothing quite compares to the splendor that resides within this extraordinary property. Back in 2012, during the era of YOLO and the Gangnam Style craze, Niall Niami acquired an 8-acre property in Bel Air for a mere $28 million, a sum that might appear astounding to some but is rather routine for Niall who is renowned among Los Angeles' celebrities and executives as an extraordinary developer of ultra-luxury mansions. Since 2012, Niall has meticulously overseen the mansion's construction and design, which took eight years and involved 600 workers. Paul McLean served as the architect, while interior designer Catherine Rotondi crafted the mansion's interior. The result is a residence that has garnered attention from newspapers and designers worldwide. In 2015, Niall Niami mentioned in an interview with GQ that the mansion would be listed for a staggering $500 million. But what truly sets this property apart? To start, its sheer size is unparalleled. This mansion spans an astounding 105,000 square feet, exceeding the White House's 55,000 square feet and even Hearst Castle's 69,500 square feet. To put it into perspective, the driveway alone is larger than your average public road, and the property's length extends a quarter mile. The construction of such colossal estates has been curtailed by new building laws in Los Angeles, ensuring that no future mansion of this magnitude can be constructed. However, building the one wasn't without its difficulties, leading to the abandonment of certain planned features like a jellyfish room, an ice bar, and a room for fresh flowers due to construction challenges. In addition, Niall Niami experienced financial setbacks, including foreclosure on some of his other projects, possibly contributing to the mansion's rumored listing price of $340 million rather than the initially proposed $500 million. Nevertheless, there are still plenty of features to astound. The mansion boasts an astonishing 42 bathrooms and 21 bedrooms, meaning you could accommodate an entire NBA team with numerous bedrooms and bathrooms to spare. But let's delve into the fun stuff, because after all, what's the point of constructing the world's largest mansion if it doesn't include some uniquely remarkable rooms? First, consider the nightclub. When you possess the resources to purchase the most expensive mansion in America, you need to venture all the way to Hollywood to enjoy nightlife. Instead, you can simply stroll downstairs, the nightclub can comfortably accommodate dozens of people and includes a patio with breathtaking views of the City of Angels. Adjacent to the nightclub is a room with walls entirely made of candy, adding a whimsical touch to the mansion. Now, if clubbing isn't your scene, fear not. You can head over to the movie theater. This cinema features a screen of standard cinema dimensions and can seat up to 30 individuals on plush leather couches. If you're feeling more active, you can visit the mansion's bowling alley, complete with four lanes illuminated by modern LED lights and a floor-to-ceiling television screen. Following an evening of reverie in your private nightclub, bowling alley, and movie theater, you might choose to unwind at the wellness center. Here, you'll discover a spa with a sauna, massage rooms, and treatment rooms, all designed in keeping with the mansion's sleek aesthetic. The center also boasts a full-sized gym equipped with techno gym equipment for tailored at-home workouts. After a workout, should you require a freshen-up, you can visit the center's full-service hair and beauty salon. 
Moving on to the outdoor amenities, the mansion features multiple infinity pools, including a stunning curved infinity pool that extends beyond the property's edge, providing breathtaking vistas of the Pacific Ocean, San Gabriel Mountains, and downtown Los Angeles. The grounds also showcase high-priced art pieces, a one-acre backyard, numerous patios for relaxation, a 400-foot-long jogging track, and a 30-car garage with two-car display turntables. Even in a mansion of this grandeur, there's a guest house, and it's no ordinary guest house. Designed with a refined color palette, soft textures, and luxurious lighting, it aims to replicate the ambience of the Tom Ford Boutique on Rodeo Drive, exuding opulence in every room. The foyer, upon entry, creates an open airspace with unrestricted views and access to the patio, setting the tone for the indoor-outdoor living concept embraced throughout the entire property. The mansion places a strong emphasis on entertaining, with doors flung open to facilitate the flow of guests between the palatial living spaces and the outdoor areas. There's a 10-person formal dining room that allows access to the patio, a tequila bar with smoke mirror backsplash and marble countertops, a dedicated juice bar, and even a cigar lounge with a captivating wall display. For more sophisticated gatherings, you can host events in the philanthropy wing, designed to accommodate 200 guests for charity galas. You'll also find an art gallery with works custom curated by creative art partners. And if intellectual pursuits are more your style, the library is nothing short of extraordinary, with backlit lacquered shelves, a skylight on the ceiling, and a balcony overlooking the library itself. Of course, a mansion of this magnitude must include a place to rest. Among its 21 bedrooms, the master bedroom is a marvel situated in the 4,000-square-foot master suite. This suite boasts its own lounge, bar, and an expansive patio complete with a private pool overlooking the city. A futuristic walk-in closet with backlit display cases and wardrobes is designed to showcase your high-end clothing collection, while the opulent bathroom features a soaking tub with panoramic views. In closing, this tour has provided us with a fascinating glimpse into the one undeniably the most opulent and costly property in the entire United States. The question that lingers, however, is whether it truly justifies its staggering price tag. Could any home, no matter how extravagant, warrant such a colossal sum? It's a topic that fuels endless debates among real estate enthusiasts and luxury aficionados. As I stand here, virtually touring this palace of extravagance, I can't help but wonder what additional features one might consider adding to an already awe-inspiring residence. Perhaps an art gallery to house a priceless collection, an observatory to marvel at the night sky, or even a botanical garden to enhance the estate's natural allure. But that, of course, is a matter of personal taste. I'm eager to hear your thoughts on this remarkable property. What features would you incorporate if it were your home? Please share your ideas in the comments section below. I'd love to read your insights. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey. And if you found this video as captivating as I did, don't forget to show your appreciation with a like and a subscribe. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a realtor to call and a myriad of questions to ask about this exceptional abode. As always, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more exciting explorations of luxury and opulence.